So inside of the brand, one thing you need to understand is why your customers are using it, but how they're using it. And some of the vocabulary of that is usage imagery, which means the feelings associated with actually buying and using the brand. How do you feel when you buy those brands? When I buy a pair of 1990s Nike Air Max, I feel amazing. But I think part of it might be that I actually feel like a kid because those are the shoes I always wanted when I was a kid that I was never able to get. And so maybe that feeling that I get is that of those classic moments in your life that were you know, exciting to you or fun to you. You're playing with your friends, happy memories. You buy, By buying those, that's what you do. Or user imagery, the connection with the type of people that use that brand. So a really interesting example, I don't see this as often in America, but when I lived in South Korea, I saw this all the time. People would get shirts, hats, on their cars, they'd put stickers. Every time you were into any sort of hobby, even like rollerblading, biking, tennis, golf, they would always get sort of team stickers that they would buy and shirts that they would purchase and hats and they would feel part of this group and they'd become like a team based around a brand a lot of times. It was really, really interesting. But think of yourself when you're driving your car, especially if you have a nice car and you see someone else with that same nice car, how do you feel? You're like, oh, hey, that's a cool person. Or I always imagine like in nowadays, like Tesla, Tesla drivers all probably hang out together in the same club and I don't know, they drink their fancy drinks or whatever. But it's that connection you have. And Apple actually has, did a really good job at this back in the day of like making clubs built around Apple products because the people who chose to use Apple products pre-iPod, so we'll say like pre-2000, was a very unique select group of people. And so those people chose to be together because they kind of believed in the Steve Jobs way. Even though Steve Jobs wasn't even working there at that time, they still sort of believed in his original thoughts. User imagery. The next one, brand personality. My favorite part of all brands is talking about their personality. Brands are, over time, become people. The same as people. What is their personality? But an example that I give a lot of times, because when you ask people what the personality of a brand is, it's not always easy in their mind to kind of comprehend the difference between a brand and, say, the actual product that they're using. And sometimes they just describe the attributes of the product and don't actually see the personality of the brand. So... A funny activity is always thinking of like cultures as people. So if you were to think of the United States as a person, how would you describe it? You know, write down five positive things and five negative things of the culture and look at it as a person. Then you do, you know, China, England, France, Germany, Norway, Sweden, South Korea, Japan, you know, South, South Africa, Brazil, like that kind of idea. And you can start to see how they differ from each other if you look at them as people. And it's kind of interesting. Brands are the same way. So the goal, of course, of a brand manager then is to develop this same type of personality that people look at it. Because when I look at that brand's personality, and if it's similar to my personality, who I hang out with, then I want to be friends with that brand. And that's like the goal of a brand is so that it can fit into your group. and be like, hey, I can hang out with that brand on weekends. Or I could go to work with that brand. We could be successful together. Or are they my brother or my sister? And that's how you connect with a brand. And once a brand is able to do that with its consumers, it's kind of reached its success. Like that's the ultimate goal. That means it's so comfortable that people treat their brands with that. And the funny thing is, is think about how you feel when you throw something away. How many times do you hold products in your closet for years and years and years and years, even though you haven't worn it or used it in a super long time? but yet you can't throw it away because that brand feels like it becomes part of your family. It's who you are. And so you're throwing part of who you are away. And that's a successful brand. 